Hey guys, it's Peter Clips here with a gym editor tutorial. This is going to be part of my tutorial series on the Men of War 2, Men of War, like all the Men of War games, Battle of the Empires, and called Arms. Um, all of them use the gym editor. And this will be a little tutorial on how to use it. So yeah. Um, first thing you want to do, I just launched up open the gym editor. This is the main thing you get when you first come in. First thing you want to do is go to maps. Um, either new or load. If you go into load you have all the campaign maps all the multiplayer one. Then if you have things from the workshop downloaded they will all if they're uh, maps then they should be in here too if you want to make your own map you go to new all unsaved data yes 20 by 20 you can change the size I usually do it by 50 by 50 and then you just hit ok you don't really have to worry about anything else the only other thing you can worry about is the texture <coughs> so this is your on map uh, if you're setting up an actual thing you're not going to use out of editor you're going to want to go to show map orders how they're there you want to add new real except for all players that will actually set the map borders for how it looks right here to work for all the players. <coughs> so it kind of goes up to each thing. But if you wanted, you could bring in these. Um, if I remember right, um, loot. Let me see. Um, huh. I'm trying to figure out which one's the camera. I think this one is the fog. The fog starts at the yellow, goes to the green. So on that side we'll bring it in. This one is I think player movement and I think blue is camera movement. So yeah. You set up your borders for the playable range and I am going to save this as save as file name. Uh, test map. This will be the map I'll use to test out or do the gym tutorial editors. There, I got my camera locked in. When you're messing around in editor, a good thing to do is unclip camera position because otherwise you only have you can only get that high from the ground. I deleted the auto one. So the only one that's left is ours. Okay. So, first things first. I'll turn off map borders. We'll go to um, textures. This is what you'll use for. Um, doing your textures for your map 
if you do fill, that will fill up the whole thing. Uh, otherwise, if you have it in this slot over here, that will be that. And um, the left one will be your left trigger, right one will be your right trigger. Pretty explanatory. You can change how sharp it is, how it's kind of jagged, or how smooth it is. Not as jagged, kind of goes a little bit slower. Or, oh, that was slow and fast, sorry. Soft, kind of does like a square, then sharp. If you're doing an, an area like that, compared to like that, it does a little bit slower and kind of rounds out more. So yeah. <coughs> um... So let's start with setting up some terrain, which I don't want this grass. We have grasses and then we also have fields. And um, leaves. How does that look? Hmm. I think we're gonna go with. Oh yeah. Also, if you want more than one texture, you go to Add. It will copy the last one you used. We're gonna have another one to be. Um. We we'll do Gamma Eleven with some. One F road. <coughs> so let's unclip camera position. We'll do try to get it straight as you can when you're working on roads. You can always change your uh, brush size if it's not working the way you want it to. See, I don't like that. Um, there we go. That looks better. I'm gonna just get a strip of road going. We gotta make that road quite as thick as it needs to be. Okay. Um. Let me just fill in that hole. 
there we have our road okay next thing I will come up here save after you do your save as it will save to the same text file or same file <coughs> and just clean up that real quick right there <coughs> all right now we'll save map another thing that there is to use is height and that will help when you're first making your base map I like to do fixed height and we'll do 10 we'll have this road raised Because you don't want to have a flat map. One thing I have a hard time with on the gym editor making is mountains. I'm just not that very good at it. Because if you do unfixed height. Say we come over here. That's how it does it. If we do a little bit faster. Uh, um, you need a numpad when you work with the gym editor or a number pad um, sorry about that minus on the number pad makes your um, brush go smaller again sorry about that um, I can't really show you that right now because I have my stream keys set for those um, but yeah it makes your brush smaller and bigger we'll go here Bring it back down to zero on fixed height. Because that's the base. We bring that back down. We'll fix height again. Bring it to ten. And we'll finish this road. Which now I have a bigger brush size than I need. One more second, one more, one more split. Okay, I just had to tap my record button on and off about ten times. But yeah, um, there we got it to the end of the road. Did get a little bit fat over here on the side. We'll bring this down to zero and fix that. Before I want to get any far, uh, I'll have to say this is going to be all for this episode. I'm sorry if this video was kind of short. Um, but I need to fix my recording thing just so I'm able to actually use the gym editor better and yeah so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this kind of just showed you how to get your base map how to set your textures for terrain and how to mess with height here we built a road with grass on the side we'll make a full map out of this throughout the uh, series but yeah hope you guys enjoyed we'll save this you don't have to do save as like I said all you have to do is save hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye